Hi, this is Kimberly. This is something I wanted to do for a while, just to see what it sounded like. So, I took CW, his front porch sermon, whatever you want to call it, and his driveway interviews. He had three interviews, one longer one and two shorter ones. And just for the heck of it, I wanted to take the word like out of it unless it's appropriately used in a sentence not like 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 to give him like a chance to like think and like stuff you know like that so i took those out just so you can more focus on what he's saying and then i decided to take out the interviewer which you can hardly hear them ask their questions anyway but it takes away from his babbling and stuttering and stammering and his inappropriate snickering and laughter and saying dumbass shit like like last night i wanted that knock on the door why would shanann knock on the fucking door you dumbass and it was easy for me to do th easier for me to do this with simply the sound and not the sound and the video. It would have looked all choppy anyway, so I just did the sound and I'm going to repurpose it with some other video just for something to look at if you want to look at something. But one thing that stood out to me is he said, the reporter had asked him about when Shanann got home and he says she barely let me and then he stopped and he was like, she barely got into bed and it was time to wake up or something to that effect so just see what you can garner from this if you get anything new out of it i just thought it would be a little interesting experiment i guess you call it i don't know everything's been done to death on this case and although there's all this quote-unquote new stuff that is just weird to me it's just flat out fucking weird and preposterous and if you enjoy this and think you would be interested in my doing the same with his polygraph with Tammy, taking all the likes out so you could really hear what he's saying, I just find it to be quite distracting, which is part of the reason he does it, I think. It gives him time to come up with his next lie, and it's distracting. Let me know. I've toyed around with doing that, too. I did this one first because it was shorter. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in. All right, I hope you enjoy this. Much love and peace. Thank you for listening. Uh, Chris Watt, WATTF. Right now, it's got K9 units, the sheriff's department. Everybody's there. They're doing their best right now to figure out if they can get a scent, see where they went. If they went on foot, they went in a car, or they went somewhere. And right now, it's just they've they've been on point. They're going through the house trying to get a scent, and hopefully, they can pick something up to where it's it's going to lead to something. What happened? Uh, she she came home from the airport 2 a.m. and I left around 5:15. She was still here. And about 12.10 in that afternoon, her friend Nicole showed up at the door. The guy had texted Shanann a few times that day, called her, say, you know, but she never got back to me, but she wasn't getting back to any of her people as well. And that's what really concerned a lot of people. Is she's not getting back to her. If she doesn't get back to me, that's fine. She gets busy during the day. But she didn't get back to her people, which was very concerning. And Nicole called me when she was at the door, and that's when I came home. And then walked in the house, and nothing was vanished. Nothing was here. I mean, she wasn't. She wasn't here. The kids weren't here. No, nobody was here. Shannon, S H A N A N N. What's your Bella and Celeste. Uh, C E L E S T E. Four. Bella's four. Celeste is three. I called her three times. Texted her about three times just to say, you know, what's going on. I did. I, Cause after after the after I called her and texted her once, is maybe she was just busy. She would just gotten back. You know, like everybody's probably calling her from her trip. She just got back from Arizona, and. I figured just she was just busy, but when her friend showed up, that's what it, it registered. Like, all right, this isn't right. I, I mean, right now I don't even want to just throw anything out there. Like, I hope that she's somewhere safe right now and with the kids. But I mean, could she have been? Could she have just taken off? I don't know. But if somebody has her and they're not safe, I want them back now. That that that's what's in my head. Like, if they're safe right now, they're gonna come back. But if they're not safe right now, that's what—that's the not knowing part.
if they're not safe. I, I, last night, I was I had every light in the house on. I was hoping that I would just get just ran over by the kids running in the door and just barrel rushing me, but it didn't happen. And it was just a traumatic night trying to be here. I mean, every, I mean yeah, my, my kids are my life. I mean, those those smiles light up my life. And this, I mean, last night during like at, you know when they usually eat dinner, it was just I miss them. I mean, I miss telling them, hey. You got to eat that, or you're not going to get your dessert. You know, and just you're not going to get your snack after. But I miss that. I, I miss them. You know, cuddle up on their couches. They have Minnie Mouse couch and a Sophia couch that they cuddle up on and watch, you know, Bubble Guppies or something. And it was just, you know, I, mean, I, I, I was, it was tearing, tearing me apart last night, and I needed that. I needed that last night, and for that, for nobody to be here last night and to go into their rooms and not and know that I wasn't going to turn the rain machines on, and I know that I wasn't gonna turn their monitor on. No, I wasn't gonna kiss them to bed tonight. It was, it, it was, I, I, that's why last night it was just horrible. I couldn't do it. it. I just, I just want, I want everybody to just come home. Like wherever they're at, come home. That's what I want. Yeah, cause her, her flight got delayed from Arizona cause of other storms around the, the nation. So yeah. she's supposed to get home at 11. She got home at 148. Got in bed about two. It was a Thrive Direct Sales. Uh, it was a local event that was down there between a bunch of leaders in, in the company. I, le I left work for work early that morning, 5:15, 5:30. So she barely let me. She barely got barely got. It wasn't it was an argument. We had an emotional conversation, but I'll leave it at that. But it's. I just want them back. <laughs> I just I just want them to come back, and if. If they're not safe right now, that's what's that's what's tearing me apart. Because if they are safe, they're coming back. But if they're not, this 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 has got to stop. Like somebody has to come forward. Yeah, I've, I've, they've been in constant contact every hour. I mean, it's I mean everybody back in North Carolina and the East Coast. I mean, from Maine to Florida. You know, just if they need to get on a flight, just let them know. Because I mean, they don't they they feel helpless right now because they they're on the opposite side of the country. I mean, this Colorado is, I mean, you can't just drive around and look. I mean, it's just, you wouldn't really know what you're looking for. That's what the cops pretty much told me. That, that first day, I, was, I want to get out and drive around. They said, you wouldn't know what to look for. Right now, this is, what they're doing right now is with the canines in the sense. I think this is the biggest thing. This is the biggest thing they've done so far because yesterday, they all, the Federal Police Department did all the searching of the house and tried to gather whatever information they could and with the detectives, officers, and sergeants, and today it's, all, I mean, obviously with all the activity that's around, it's, 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 there's a lot going on around here, and I really hope that all of this can lead to something positive. You now, like we've, we've, uh, the, the police department went door to door asking, like cameras and everything, just nothing. Shannon, Bella, Celeste, if you're out there, just, just, just come back. If somebody has her, just. Please bring her back. I need to see everybody. I need to see everybody again. This house is not complete with, without anybody here. Please bring her back. It's the most important thing. I'm not sure. I'm, I'll just wait for you to ask question, but it's, I want, I want them wherever they're at. I have no inclination to where they're at right now. I've exhausted every friend that I know of and every friend that I have has called friends that Shanann has that maybe I didn't know about. And it's just, there's, it has vanished. She's not, when I got home yesterday, it was a ghost town. She wasn't here. Kids weren't here. I have no idea where they went. And it doesn't, it's just earth shattering. I don't feel like this is even real right now. It's like a nightmare that I just can't wake up from. I guess, well, I had texted her a few times and called her, I didn't get a response, which that was a little off. And then her friend, Nicole, showed up about a little afternoon, I could see on the doorbell camera, and I was like, hey, what's going on? She's like, I can't get a hold of Shanann. And that's when I was just, all right, something's not right. If she's not answering the door, and she said the car was here, was, I gotta go home. And we got here, got inside, and not, nobody was here, not nothing. Yeah, because Bella was gonna start kindergarten next next Monday. And they they were just getting ready to start, start back again. Yeah, because she was here at, at the front door, and that's when I kind of knew, okay, if she's not answering anybody else either, this, is, this isn't like her, because, I mean, she, she works at direct sales business, and that's her, that, that's what she does. And for her not to respond to any of her people, that, I mean, if she doesn't respond to me, that's fine. I mean, she's busy, she's got stuff going on. 
but not to respond to her people though that was that was not like her i I was trying to get home as fast as I can. I was blowing through stoplights. I was blowing through everything, just trying to get home as fast as I can because none of this made sense. If she wasn't here, where did she go? Once I got here, it was, all right, who can I call? Who do I know that she could be with right now? If she went to a friend's house, where could she be staying? And we went through everybody. I mean, just everything in my, in my contact list and her, her friend's contact list, and nothing has come up. Everybody has said, like, they haven't heard from her either. I'm just hoping right now that she's somewhere safe and maybe she's just, she's there. But right now it's just, if she's vanished, I want her back so bad. I want those kids back so bad. Yeah, I mean, not, not, everybody's gonna have their own opinion on, on anything like this. I just want them people to know that I want my family back. I want them safe and I want them here. This house is not the same. I mean, I, last night was traumatic. Last night was, I, I can't really stay in this house again with nobody here. And last night I wanted, I, I wanted that knock on the door. I wanted to see that. I wanted to see this kid just run in, run in, just, just barrel rush me and just give me a hug and knock me on the ground. But that didn't happen. Probably my friends Nick and Amanda. Just, I mean, I think something develops in the next, next hours or so. I'm hoping that somebody sees something or somebody knows something and comes forward not knowing if they're safe or if they're in trouble. There's just that, it's that variable. I'm not sure, I mean, I can't do anything right now from where I'm at. I'm not sure if they're safe somewhere, just huddle up somewhere, or if they're in trouble. And knowing that if they could be in trouble, it, it just, it's earth shattering right now and it doesn't feel it's real. No, we have camera there, neighbor has a camera. We, I mean, everything was, everything's checked out. The doorbell, only, only right there. The neighbor has one over there. Front door was locked. The garage door was unlocked, but that, that's normal for when she comes in the house, she leaves it unlocked just so she can come in and out just in case, you know, did you get in the, the garage door, but the back sliding door was locked as well. I, I've, I don't want to put anything out there. I'm just suspecting like if something, somebody pulled in the back and because we have a driveway back there from the new townhomes, but it's, it's so hard to tell. There's no cameras in the backyard or anything like that, so it's, it's really hard to even suspect anything right now as far as how she could have left or if someone came picked her up or somebody took her. I've, I've never seen something like this in my lifetime unless it was on TV or a movie, and this, this doesn't seem real at all. It just seems like I'm, I'm living in a nightmare and I can't get out of it. I just want them home so bad. Yeah, I had the kids over the weekend. Uh, she got home really late, about 2 a.m. from the airport when she got back from Arizona. Yeah. No, I, was, I saw her when she got in, but it was really quick just because it was 2 a.m. in the morning. But I saw the kids in the monitor before I left, and that was it. But right now, I'm in Frederick Police Department, they've been, they've been on point. They've, with the officers, detectives, sergeants, K-9 units here, they're getting sense. So hopefully they can pick up something and kind of go in a direction that will actually lead us to where maybe they're at right now. Oh, this is, uh, I think she got it off Amazon, but this is uh, my favorite college sports team. She was, in, yeah, just in North Carolina, yep. So she probably, she actually probably got it from there. Usually she gets stuff from Amazon, but she, this one, I like these shirts a lot. So this Celeste, she's just a ball of energy. She's called her Rampage, because she's like, she's just always, it's, she's got two speeds, go or she's sleeping. And she's always a troublemaker. She's always the one like jumping off things, you know, just yelling at you and all kinds of things. And Bella, she's the more calm, cautious, mothering type. And she's she's more like me. She's more calm. She's but uh, Celeste has definitely got her mom's personality to where she's always just gung ho, ready to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's like I, that's why I want everybody back. That's why everybody I need everybody back here and everybody's safe. I just. I don't know, I don't know where my kids are. I don't know where Shannon is. It's, it's not something I could ever, ever fathom would happen in my lifetime. And I, I have no inclination of where she is. Yeah. I've re we've reached out to friends, family. Our fam uh, both of our families are back in North Carolina. So they're beside themselves. We all have friends in North Carolina. We have friends here, we have friends everywhere and not knowing where she is or where the kids are, it's, I, I, 
I don't know what to do right now. I just feel so alone in this house right now, and I don't know, I don't know where to go from here right now. I mean, my heart's my heart's racing a mile a minute. I mean, just I, everything that's happening in the last last few days is just it's, it's earth shattering right now. It's like my world's been turned upside down. I have friends that have offered to, to help. I just I didn't feel like I should have left last night. Like just in case maybe she came back, maybe the kids came back, maybe something happened, maybe I, there's a knock on the door. I wanted to be here. I didn't think last night was a good time to stay with anybody else or, I mean, I'll, I'll, want, I'll, want, I'll want friends to be here with me because that just makes me feel better. Uh, it's been amazing. They've been in constant contact, Frederick Police Department, detectives, officers, sergeants. They have the dogs coming through to get sense. I mean, it's, they've been on top of everything, missing persons reports, everything's been, they've been, um, she said she was going to her friend's house with the kids and that's the last thing I heard and that was that was it. It was very vague and it was very I don't have no inclination of where she is. Every friend that I've called that has has a car seat that has I mean that could have come and got her, it's yeah, I saw her yesterday morning. She got back from the airport and I mean it's she she has to be somewhere. I, in my heart, I believe that she is somewhere, and I hope that she is safe. It, I'm, I'm I'm so happy that they're here right now, doing everything that they can. It just it scares the living crap out of me right now, just knowing that it's come to this, and that she didn't come home last night with the kids. Shanann, Bell, and Celeste, if you're out there, please, I mean, just come home. Yeah, I mean, I, I it wasn't like her not to answer a phone call or a text, and when her friend Nicole showed up at the door, I was just, all right, something something's up, and. Uh, I came home and it was. I walked into a ghost town. Like everything. It, she wasn't here. Kids weren't here. It was. It was just. They were here and then they were gone. Just in the monitor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could after that for the after, like that that. that. Yeah, every, every, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, and just like, you know, and it was just like, you know, I mean, I, I, I was, it was 28, it was, it, it was, I, 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 it, it, I just, um, pretty much. It's, <laughs> I, this, 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 you know, just like, like, it, it's, 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 you know, like we've, we've, uh, the, the, uh, put it back. Hi, this is Kimberly. This is part three of Given the Chance, What Would You Say to Chris Watts? This is a question I posed on my community page. I got a lot of answers and I'll keep posting these videos as long as y'all want to post those comments under the questions. So, hope you enjoy. This channel is ridiculous. Thank you for your feedback. Chris isn't real swift on the uptake. It's starting to sink in right about now. He's a dingbat and has the very rare personality that adapts well to institutionalization. Maybe not tomorrow or the next day, but one day a hard-ass new warden is going to get a wild hair. He's going to be a southerner, I feel. Realizing who Twat says he's going to shake things up a bit. Call a huge staff meeting and tell the COs and general populations to start spreading the word. He will send two big old former soldiers to Twat's cell. All they're going to say is, grab your pillow, you're moving. Twat's may get a little indignant, insisting he's not going anywhere, not with Bible study in 35 minutes. Former drill sergeant turned CO is just going to laugh and say, you ain't in charge of shit, boy. Move. He's going to fare well in general population. I think you're right. Hi, Kimberly. Love your work. Thank you. That's very sweet. I'll leave the insults and name calling to you, as you are fucking hilarious and I could never presume to compete. I would, however, like to congratulate him, Chris Watts, for ending up exactly where he always belonged, locked in prison with men who have twisted, broken, or crippled bodies to match their distorted, ugly minds, in his special needs housing unit. I don't adhere to the theory that he changed one day into a murderer. I believe he was able to walk among the humans, 
going under the radar and not drawing attention to himself all of his life. Yes, I kind of agree with that. I think I do agree with that. He has become adept at maintaining any pretense at any given time. Yes, I think a perfect storm was created when his ego had been stroked with the severe and others that he quite honestly thought he was going to be able to lie his way out of this predicament as he had lied his way out of everything in the past. I believe this is why he took the lie detector test. He assumed he would be so utterly convincing that he would pass it. Agreed. Finally, he is at home. This is why he has apparently been fitting in so well and is settled. He has the adoration of, albeit crazy women, but supply of any kind is still 